Hi friends, welcome to Wits Connect. This is Prince Kamal Kiran, and uh, today I am here to teach you transportation engineering and what do you mean by transportation engineering and what is the importance of transportation engineering and what is the necessity for a civil engineer to learn about transportation system or transportation engineering. And here let us discuss what do you mean by transportation. What do you mean by transportation means movement of men and material from one place to another place is known as transportation. How we are going to move from one place to another place for different works. We are going to move from one place to another place. Due for that one, we require mobility. That means moving moving from one place to another place. We require some mode of transportation system. So we are going to use different types of transportation system. And at the same time, different materials are made. Main uh, materials are pro manufactured at different places, and their requirement is in some other place. We have to move these materials, these manufactured materials from this place to the another place where they are required. And for that purpose, we require transportation and here what uh, what are the different modes of transportation system let us discuss what are the different modes of transportation system available and here these are the four important types of transportation system presently we are using the first one is the roadways second one is the railways third one is the airways and fourth one is the waterways and nowadays we are going to use another transportation mode for movement of material uh, material that, that is pipelines pipelines are also used as a transportation mode for moving of some crude oils or petroleum uh, products or some other gas natural gases from one place to another place and this one also plays uh, this we can call this one also a transportation medium and here these five different types of transportation systems are used for different purpose for example if we look at the roadways the roadways in roadways we are going to use lorries buses autos two wheelers three wheelers cars and all those things and in this the medium of transportation system is the earth on the earth surface the roadways are being constructed and here in this uh, roadways these roadways connects different parts of a country and at different places of a country or any place in the country which is located in the country or in the world we can connect each and every place a easy access is provided to each and every place with the help of roadways each and every street or each and every corner of a um, corner of a area can be reached through the roadways and this in this mode we are going to have different vehicles are used for transportation mode and in this mode we can transport men and materials okay and the next one railways in the railways it is a medium and here we can also transfer men and materials from one place to another place but coming to the railways there is a problem we cannot connect to each and every corner of a place why because it is limited to some place only it requires more land for the construction and also movement of railways is not that much easy so we are going to there are some limitations in rail transport system and next one is the airways in this airways again we can move men and materials men and materials can be are used in airways um, can be transported in airways and it is the fastest mode of transportation okay and uh, this air by using of this airways we can connect to each and every corner of the world to we can move from one country to the another country we can move from one continent to the another continent to different continents or different countries or different states or different districts we can transport men and material through airways and this one is the fastest mode of transportation system and also the costliest 
costliest mode of transportation system and another mode of transportation system is waterways in waterways we can transfer men and uh, materials here also this uh, in this waterways we can transfer men and material and uh, this is the slowest mode of transportation but uh, it is the cheapest it is cheapest mode of transportation system and uh, by waterways we can transfer more number of uh, men and a uh, large quantity of material from one place to the another place but it takes time and in this waterways we can transfer uh, we can transport the men and materials from one place to another place from one country to another country from from one continent to the another continent and uh, through rivers and some uh, natural harbor uh, harbors are used for uh, this one and also it uh, take some more time for transportation of these things and next one is the pipelines through pipelines only materials can be transferred that means crude oil is extracted at some place and refinery is at some other place or natural gas which is extracted at some place and we have to transport it from one place to another place for this purpose we are going to lay the pipelines and we are going to transport the uh, material from one place to another place for example we are going to transfer the water from one place to another place through pumping by using of these pipelines so that uh, less uh, less amount is required for transportation but initial cost is high and uh, here what are the uh, what is the uh, coming to these five different types of transportation systems here what happens is here the roadways men and material can be transported and it is the cheapest uh, low cost is required and for railways men and materials can be transported and it is also fastest but uh, in railways it is limited to district to district or state to state or, uh, or state to state and we can move materials to all the parts of the country but we cannot transport material and men from one country to another country by using of this railways so there is a drawback of that one and next one is the airways we can transport men and material from one place to another place fastest mode of transportation system and also the costliest mode of transportation system and we can move from one any part to any part of the world to any corner of the world by using of airways and waterways it is we can transport large quantity of men and materials and also uh, it is the cheapest mode of transportation system and also slowest mode of transportation system and here another one is the pipelines we can transport materials like uh, liquids and gases we can transport these by using of these pipelines and here what are the different mediums used in uh, the trans in the transportation system that one the, the they are first one is the earth and next one air water on the earth surface we can construct roadways railways and pipelines and in air only aircraft airways in water waterways ships etc okay in the on the earth as a medium we can construct roadways railways and pipelines and in the air we can uh, air, air as a medium airways is running and water as a medium ships and vessels etc are running by using of these transportation systems and here different uh, technologies have been developed in the construction of these uh, these roads or uh, these different modes of transportation system in the olden days we have constructed the roads by using of uh, soil and we are going to clean the surface and may, made the con uh, constructed the road by using of soil or aggregates and present uh, we are constructing the uh, white topping roads vitamin asphalt pavements and all the rigid pavements and all those things day, day by day the mode of transportation system is becoming so easy and the time consumption for moving from one place to another place is been reduced due to the increase in the efficiency of the vehicles used and a, a proper maintenance or proper construction techniques in the following uh, transportation modes due to in development in that one 
the time required from movement of one place to another place has been decreased rapidly okay thank you